yes, the heavenly riff. What a heavenly riff this is. This is the riff that every guitar player has to learn. It's obligatory. And so now every ukulele player can play it as well. Before we go any further with this lesson, I would suggest you go to the description box. And the way YouTube has it, you only see part of the description, so there's a little drop-down arrow thing that opens up the, the entire description box. And you'll see a link to my Mediafire site where you can download the tablature for this. Download that, print it out, and then come on back and continue with the lesson. All right. The Heavenly Riff, it was performed by a band whose name is found on the periodic table of elements as atomic number 82, a heavy metal band to be sure. As you look at the tablature sheet, uh, look at the way it's laid out, you've got four lines. The four lines, the horizontal lines, indicate the strings of the ukulele. The very top line is the first string. The very bottom line is the fourth string. The numbers indicate frets, not necessarily fingers, but they indicate the frets that are pushed down. So, for instance, in the first measure, you've got the second fret of the first string, of the fourth string. The zeros following that mean that those strings are played open. So it's played like this. Now, the right hand assignment is this: the thumb always plays the fourth string. It also also plays the third string. The index finger plays the second string, and the middle finger takes care of the first string notes. Now, it's best to look at this song in terms of actual chord blocks. So, like the first measure is an A minor chord. It can either be played with the index finger or the middle. I usually play it with the middle. The next measure is, for want of a better term, C augmented, ninth. Kind of a dissonant chord. The third measure is C. The fourth measure is D. And I play it by barring the second fret, but only play those three notes at the second fret. The fourth, the third, and the second string. You can use these three fingers, if you wish, or these three. Then you've got an F chord. And then the sixth measure is also F. Now the seventh measure is the easiest measure of the whole song. You just play a G chord, strum it down, and then strum an A minor twice. So it's strum, strum, strum. And then, last but not least, the eighth measure, you play the, there's a, a quarter rest, and then on the second beat you play the first string open, then go up to the eighth fret, and down to the seventh. And I do a little slide going up to the eighth, Start the slide at about the 5th fret, and then the piece starts all over again. Now, in playing this, most of the uh, measures, or a number of them, have just single notes. But right here, you've got double, actually triple notes. Thumb is on the 4th string 1st fret, index finger is open on the 2nd string, and the 2nd fret of the 1st string with the middle finger, and since the ukulele's only got four, maybe we're playing three strings at one time, to give it a little fuller feel, um, uh, we, t we like to do little rolls like this. And that's played by playing the thumb first, then the index, then the middle. But you don't go, but more. It's almost simultaneously, but just a slight delay between each one. That's called a roll. So you have then F, another roll, then brush stroke, little turn around, back, roll, roll, then F. On that D chord, I'm actually um, breaking away from my rule a little bit here. I'm playing the third finger on that second string, then the thumb on the fourth, and index finger on the, on the third. It just feels more comfortable for me. And then go to your, back to your original uh, right hand position for the F.
And there you have the heavenly riff. Have fun with it and happy strumming.